My most intimidating DJ set would have to be my first ever music festival. I played at Future Music Festival in about 2013 and uh, it was on the foam stage, it was really, really high and um, I was quite nervous and I had to walk up all the scaffolding to get up there and I got up and I looked down and everyone was so small and, and I, was, I was quite, you know, nervous and I had 30 minutes to, to knock out like a killer set and um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I put my USB in I started hearing like this screaming and cheering before I started and I looked down and I, like a whole bunch, like 30 of my friends are sitting there just waiting for me, cheering me on and, and that was pretty awesome so I just, I was like alright, let's nail it and I just went for it. So touring for a long uh, period of time is definitely something that I want to do, I'm so prepared for it. I feel that uh, jumping on whether a, a one month, two month, 12 month contract um, is definitely where I want to be. I want to be touring internationally and interstate and all that kind of stuff. Um, I can see my career heading that way and yeah, I'm so ready. I've been ready for a really long time so I'm excited um, for the opportunities to come my way in that regard and um, yeah, bring it on. I know I can do it. Uh, to play like a corporate event um, for a specific uh, like clientele, when they give me a brief to do, I, I, I want to nail it. I always want to make sure that I am adopting whatever it is like that they need out of me, but then try to elaborate on it and um, really, really create something really fun and um, exciting and, and exactly what they want, but more. So I really try and engage with them and, um, and give them something more than what they expected. I started DJing about seven years ago. Um, it was, I, I had no idea I was ever gonna <laughs> go this far into clubs and events. Um, it's actually quite cliche. I, I was basically dumped by my boyfriend. Uh, at the time, and he was like the love of my life. Um, he had left me and I was quite depressed and sad and um, I couldn't quite get over it. And I had an awesome friend at the time who was teaching himself how to DJ and um, he was just like, oh, come over to my house and um, we'll hang out and we'll take your mind off things. Uh, a couple of months later, I told you know a friend who ran events and clubs that I was just practicing, you know, and it was really helping me, it was nurturing me. And he's like, come play at the club. I'm like, oh no, I couldn't do that. And But I did, I just played a track uh, each week in the set, uh, in someone else's set, just to get my bearings. And then they gave me a full hour with my friend, just so I felt good about it. And I played all the tracks that made me feel great. And to see the light in people's faces and the joy and the jump and the craziness that what I felt from that music the way it connected to everyone in the crowd was an amazing feeling and that's that's why I do what I do. Where I want to go with my career is um, definitely like for me the sky's the limit in the way I, I want to be touring internationally, I, I want to have a great uh, recognizable and respected brand um, not only for what I can bring as a person, but also my skill set uh, behind the decks, and really um, encourage a energetic performance and and cycle with the crowd. Like I'm giving my energy, and I get it back, and we feed off each other, and and, and play at festivals like Coachella and Tomorrowland and all those kind of things, and really reach that pinnacle for me, where I'm a worldwide. Uh, international brand and um, it's respected for my skills and my music knowledge. Cypher already has a great reputation and for me I, I want to gel what I've got and what Cypher has and, and build on that and to play events through Cypher and, and have that backing is really important to me because I can then expand my market, I can um, again improve skills in any way and um, and improve my um, my crowd connections and and yeah like I said the sky's the limit try to reach new goals as a team and um, and really really branch out and, and expand so that's why I think that psych is the right place for me because I uh, will work together as a team and go places I want to feel after a gig that I've connected with my audience 
emotionally and give them a sense of happiness where the music has created this amazing atmosphere and vibe and feeling for them that that's the most memorable part of their night. You know, or that event was, oh, she played that song and that's the song that moves me, you know? Or oh, she she looked at me and she danced with me when she played and it, it, it made me feel so good. It made that event for me. That's the things I want to hear or see uh, in my audience. If I can, if they can feel what I feel, uh, when I play, um, I know that I've done my job and I know that it was worth it, not just for me, but for them too.